Wow. It is Women Only Wednesday, and this is your one and only Women's Wednesday matchup. Tongue tied. Andrea Shaw versus Iris Kyle. Two of the great ones, guys. Of course, Iris Kyle. She is the great one. She has more Olympia titles than anybody of any sex. So, Lee Haney and King Coleman, I guess they have to step aside as far as number of Olympia wins. Andrea Shaw, guys, she uh, she's great. She's great. The open class women's bodybuilding made the big return 2020. What a show it was. There was a lot of girls. Margie Marvelous, a few other ones. Oh, gosh darn it. But, hey, Andrea Shaw, she won, guys, with a fantastic physique. Let's start this one off, front double bicep. And Iris Kyle, this is her at the 2013, oh, come on, do it now, Arnold's Classics. The Arnold's Classics. I gotta add that S in there. It's very important, you know. Don't worry, I did take that S from somewhere. I just, I didn't steal it, so... There's a word that I use that should have an S that doesn't. And I, I I gave it to Arnold's Classics. Might be a couple of S's there, actually. <laughs> anyway, I gotta say, Iris Kyle, she might be winning in the physique, the lats, V-taper, maybe the abs, condition of the abs, but the limbs, the arms, and probably the legs going to Andrea Shaw. And I'm surprised, to be honest with you. There was other versions of Iris Kyle, but vexingly, there was no solid versions where they showed all of the poses. 2013 Arnold Classic had most of them, pretty good footage, so I decided to go with that version. And, you know, I like to mix and match. I like the vacuum of Andrea Shaw, but I kind of like the ab separation of uh, Iris Kyle. She's fantastic. She's fantastic. Run through the poses here. And this one... Mm, I like the display, the wheels, hips down. I mean, Andrea Shaw, bang on, bang on. Her display, everything looks good. But I guess the upper body, the, I think it's the delts and the lats as well. Iris Kyle has an advantage. Look at those arms, even in this pose of Andrea Shaw. I mean, she is, I don't want to call her a beast. She's beautiful, but she has incredible arms. Incredible arms, but maybe a more balanced set of arms for Iris Kyle when you look at the delts. Things of that nature. But uh, I guess it's pretty close, guys. I might give an edge to Andrea in the first. Might give an edge to, maybe give an edge to Iris Kyle in this one. Go to the side. And like I said, guys, there's a. it was hard to find a solid version of, of Iris Kyle. And the side shots... They're tilted thusly. And for the most part, I think this is the way she hit her pose. She she kind of directed herself to the other way instead of, you know, she could she could have tilted her arm a little bit. But having said that, hey, taking nothing away from Andrea Shaw, she's just playing maybe better than Iris Kyle in the side chest. Look at the arm development of this Andrea Shaw. You know, you could see that in the first couple of shots. She was definitely winning in the... Uh, in the limbs, maybe even in the wheels as well. Surprising to me, guys. Surprising to me. But it's not like it's a it's a brutal beating. I mean, Iris Kyle, she's right there, right there with Andrea Shaw. Go to the ladies, hoo ha. We don't with the lack of a side tricep pose. I guess this is this is more of a side tricep than most of the quote unquote hoo ha poses that the guys hit nowadays. I like this shot. Now, I don't want to point the finger of blame, of sights, sight enhancement, oils, things of that nature. But I would wager to say Iris Kyle definitely does not have that in her tricep. Here's another shot of Iris Kyle because that really, it wasn't a good display from the Arnold's Classics. This is from the Olympia, I believe the same year, maybe 2012. But look at the meat of a of the tricep of Iris Kyle. That's unbelievable. So if she was losing in the side chest, she's definitely winning in the side tricep. 
Now this is an actual side tricep. And like I said, the camera angles, not so bad in the side tri or the side chest, but really terrible here in the uh, side tricep development of Iris Kyle. But food for thought, you can see the, the meat of the tricep. It's fantastic. And speaking of side chest development, va va voom, Iris Kyle, Iris Kyle. Anyway, give her a... Uh, Give her, maybe message her later on uh, Instagram. Anyway, I probably won't. <laughs> Turn to the back, Hidetata. Probably give me a kick and then, anyway. Back. Now this separates the women from the girls. I'm telling you right now, guys. Sure, Andrea has those triceps. Huge, in fact. Tremendous. But a more balanced set of arms, even from the, the rear, you can see the delts. But back for back, Iris Kyle has this one. Similar condition. Similar condition in the glutes. Iris, a little tighter. Very impressive set of wheels. Iris has those calves. I'm telling you right now, guys, she used to haul those babies out and challenge men on the spot. She'd beat them. She'd beat them. Cav for Cav, and she's beating Andrea Shaw in the rear uh, lat spread, rear double bicep. This is a little bit better of a shot for Andrea Shaw. You can see that she beating Iris Kyle. Mm, no, no, Iris. Iris isn't winning either. It's pretty darn close. I think. Uh, I think it was a domination in that rear lat spread. But here, you throw the arms in the equation. And I'm sure you guys will probably comment and say, oh, she has sight enhancements. Well, unless you don't, unless you know, you don't really know. Unless you don't know, you don't really know. But I'm not going to be bamboozled and thought of as an ignorant person. I'm not, you know, well, I, I'm dumb when it comes to certain things. But obviously people are using sights. You gotta get over that. You gotta get over that. You can't be living in a dream world where you think everybody's natural and things of that nature. Go to the abs and thigh. No, this is not a, a tutorial of uh, natty or not. It's not a natty or not video. I don't like those. Hey, if they're natty, they're natty. If they're not, they're not. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, abs, Iris Kyle, and we could see that in other shots as well. She has a much more streamlined, much more cut up set of abs for sure. Wheels though, wheels, I gotta say, this Andrea Shaw, she means business. Here is your winner of this very close competition. That surprises me too, because, you know, Iris Kyle, 10-time Miss Olympia champion, have to admit, Andrea Shaw gave her a run for her money for sure, and arguably, arguably defeated her. I'm sure some of you guys will uh, agree to that. Not me. I think Iris Kyle won. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Get your request in. And it has to be a female versus a female. No tri uh, cross uh, gender matchups. Chris Bumstead versus his wife, for goodness sakes. Chris Bumstead would win. Get over it, guys. Get over it. Anyway, unless you're judging it as a beauty contest, in which case, you'd be hard-pressed to find a man. Now, Bob Paris, he was a sexy man. Oh, gee, did I just say that? Anyway, guys, hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a great day.